Hello everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Happy Wednesday. How's your quarantine going? Let me know down in the comments, but hopefully you're washing your hands a ton, a ton, a ton, but your hands are also probably dry from doing so. So I wanted to make this video to show all the different hand creams I've been using to keep my hands from getting dry. They're not really dry at all because I'm super diligent about putting my hand cream on. I'm going to split this up into like two parts. The first part's going to be just basic creams that are good for keeping things moist and then I have a few things as well which is the second part that's for more intense repair like your hands are cracking and dry you need intense moisture so let's get into the video I'm gonna start with my top one I use this every single night all over my body hands I can even use this on my face so if you're wearing masks and they're irritating your skin get you some CeraVe cream CeraVe in the tub has a convenient pump so you don't have to dig your hands in it. It's fragrance free, has ceramides, so it's gonna help repair your skin barrier, which your skin barrier gets damaged when you cleanse your skin. Washing your hands a lot is damaging your skin barrier. So the ceramides in this are really gonna help repair that skin barrier. And it also has hyaluronic acid, so it's gonna help hold moisture in. This stuff is amazing. It's like 14 bucks, lasts forever. They also make little sizes. Okay, this one's another great one. This is a Vanny Cream Moisturizing Skin Cream. This one's fragrance free, super gentle. Um, it doesn't have ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which is why I like the CeraVe a little bit better. But this one's also really great. Um, I think this is like 13 or $14 and it has a convenient pump too. So this one is completely gone. I used it all up on my body, my hands. This and the CeraVe melt into the skin really well and sink in really well and don't leave a greasy film which i personally like better they still moisturize without leaving a greasy feel but this one right here is the equate gentle skin cream it's like the walmart dupe to the cetaphil skin cream this one moisturizes really well but it stays kind of greasy feeling on the skin so if you're someone that doesn't like to feel greasy Definitely go with the CeraVe or the Vanny Cream, but this one does still moisturize really well and it's a really great value, 16 ounces, and this was $6 and something, like right at $7. So it's like half the price, you get the same amount if you're really looking to lather your hands up and not spend a lot of money, this would be a great way to go. Fragrance free, gentle on the skin, this one's really great too. And these aren't creams, they're balms but works the same way. I really like these. It's They're both by Aveeno. I have the Aveeno Sika Balm and the Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy Balm. Okay, they're a little bit different, but I love them both. Um, the Cracked Sika Balm uses dimethicone as a skin protectant and the Aveeno Baby Nighttime Balm, the Eczema Therapy uses colloidal oatmeal. So it's kind of just your preference. Both do a really great job of moisturizing. And these are also really great if you're just looking to get something kind of cheap to keep your hands moisturized. Both of these little ones are only like $3 each, so they'll last you a good long while. If you're looking for something cheap and good, these little balms, okay? Now, so that's like use that every night or after you wash your hands just to keep them from getting dry. But if you have already dry skin or they are cracking or severely dry, these will be really good for you. The first one I have is this Eucerin Intensive Repair Lotion. This has urea in it and it has AHAs in it, so alpha hydroxy acid. So it's really gonna like soften those skin cells, help exfoliate those off and put moisture back into the skin. This is really good. I like using this. It's like down to here. <laughs> But yeah, this one's really good. This whole thing's like 10 bucks. This CeraVe SA Cream for rough and bumpy skin is amazing. Let me tell you, if you have really dry skin, definitely try this out. Um, if you have eczema, I don't think this would work for you. So if you have eczema, be careful using anything like salicylic acid. Um, I don't think it's meant for eczema prone skin. Definitely use like the normal CeraVe if you have eczema. Um, but if you just have rough hands, this will be really great for you. I used this on my legs after shaving. It made them so smooth, I am telling you. I was like, holy crap. I'll put this on my feet sometimes too. The salicylic acid, and it also has lactic acid in it, is just really gonna help exfoliate away those dead skin cells and those rough skin cells and leave your skin really soft. 
I don't like that this doesn't have a pump, but as long as my hands are really clean going into it, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I have two more things. I'm just gonna clump them together because they're very similar. Some plain old Vaseline or this CeraVe healing ointment, okay? Ointments are the most occlusive, so they're gonna hold the most moisture into your skin, okay? It goes lotions, creams, balms, ointments. Lotions are usually waterier in consistency. Creams are thicker. Balms are like almost an ointment, but still kind of creamy. And then ointments are thick ointments that you put on like your lips, Vaseline, okay? So this is when you need intense, intense moisture. Get you some Vaseline, make sure it doesn't have fragrance. 100% pure white petroleum jelly or this CeraVe healing one, it's really good. But Vaseline is cheaper, I'm just gonna throw that out there. I love them both, this one's cheaper. So wash your hands while they're a little bit damp get you a big old glob of Vaseline, smear it on your hands so it's gonna hold that water in the skin. And if you really need some intense repair, get a pair of cotton gloves, slip them on your hands, sleep like that overnight. You will be amazed at the results in the morning, I'm telling you. And you can get a big thing of Vaseline for like four bucks. So hopefully um, you found a cream you liked. Maybe you already have some of these at home. Don't go out just to buy a cream, please don't. Please practice social distancing. Please self-quarantine. I'm not saying go to Walmart and buy this. I'm Hopefully you have some type of cream at your house that you can use, okay? And surely you have some Vaseline. Throw you some Vaseline on your hands, on your damp hands. Cover them with some gloves. It's some of the best cream you're gonna get, I'm telling you. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Stay safe, wash your hands, self-quarantine, social distance, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Let me know if there's anything you want to see down below. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.